Okay, I'm back. Um, we're down to our last pass. Um, I've been taking one millimeter cuts at a time. Uh, the final pass now is just uh, just shy of of a half a millimeter. As you'll notice on the when I, I cut across one way and I go back. The finish is absolutely amazing and uh, with this one I generally use a little little tiny bit of oil just helps helps the finish not much just a little tiny bit so here we go back, back up to 1600 rpm right We're running at 1698. I'm using my power feed. You can see we've just come to the end of the lock. I'm going to run it to back the other way. It just takes a, a fanny hair off. It's nothing. It? The finish is amazing. I'll show you when I've done. So there we go. We'll traverse back the other way. I'll zoom in a little bit if I can. I'm 
Okay, bro. Let me get rid of a good view. Light makes any difference on it. I've got the light on. Just blows it out, I think. The light blows it out. That is so smooth, it's unbelievable. Really, really smooth. The finish is amazing. I think it pays to take your time. It's surprising what results you can get. As I said before, I don't know what the steel is. The machine's absolutely beautiful. I made all my uh, lathe tool holders and my tool block for my lathe out of this material. Um, it's about 40 mil thick, and um, I'm not sure what length it is. measure it now for you. Put it right in. It's 150 mil long. Just coming to the end, next order of operation will be the bandsaw, which might be a little bit of a sketchy setup. I am going to mount it vertical in the bandsaw. My bandsaw does cut fairly through, but I will make an allowance just in case it does run off a little bit. So there you have it. I never shut my mills completely straight off. I always uh, slow it down for a second or two before I actually switch it off. Okay, switch it off now. Raise the head up. That is so smooth. Brilliant. Lovely finish. Just silky smooth. Absolutely silky smooth. Okay. I see how we say. Most operations start at the bandsaw, not this one. Started at the milling machine. Bandsaw second operation. Okay, I'll bring you back when we're machining the rest of the plates up. I'll cut two of these off, and when I'm machine finished, do the mach finish machining. I'll bring you back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have taken a couple of passes off this piece uh, piece of metal. Uh, 
hopefully this should be the final pass I don't want to do too much because it gets boring same old same old all the way through so um, just going to pry the machine back up I'm using the uh, power feed taking a light pass um, there we go I'm not sure if I have to have a oversized so I'll have to uh, put them down to length and also down to depth something you want to make for yourself I've only just made these I've made two of them what they are they're a vice stop very handy tool I say I only just made these the other day I didn't video it I should have done but I didn't anyway we'll see what we're like in a moment It's suddenly gone dark outside. Um, the sun's gone in at last. Oh, oh that feels absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I'll stop the machine. It's a lovely finish that is beautiful. Put the light back on. 
don't know whether you can see the finish on that. This is the machining lines in it as you usually get but it feels absolutely smooth. Really chuffed with that. Really chuffed. I'll just uh, check because as we're down to depth. I think it may want one more pass actually. I don't know what I'll do. I'll try one of these on it. Oh, sorry. Nothing camera. Yeah, yeah, it just wants one more pass. What I think I'll do, I'll turn the tip over. Okay, quick air blast. not drop the screw because I'll never find it. Hmm, the edge is very good. So I threw up machining. Okay, I'm not just sure if I put the same, uh, oh no, I'm same edge on there, I thought I'd put the same edge on. Okay, so that's tight. Right, I'll just drop it down. Um, let's have a look, let's have to see. Dropped it down 0 0.59 millimeters. Same edge. I think I put the uh, blunt edge on there actually. Yes, I have. I thought I had turned it down. That was an edge I used before, once before. Okay, try that again. Did not like that at all. Try again. <laughs> Now. 
Okay, we're back. That's uh, where we're we up to now. Oh, yeah. When we, uh, I've just finished machining this one off. I'm just going to deck the top off this, which will become the bottom. After I've done that, uh, what I intend to do is um, mount them in the vise and mill the top off flat afterwards uh, so it's a nice and parallel and fixed to the vise and I'll probably machine off the two ends so I'll take this little skin pass across here now slight pass just to throw it up machine's on Power feet on it. Let's try and get more than that. Power feed. Now where we go? Just like that. Holding these in the vice, I have a I've milk milk ground down a ball bearing to half its thickness. I'm using a ball bearing pressing against the center of the two plates. 
which creates a lot of pressure in one place. Good holding power. What I think I'll do, I'll just take one more little light across. the grass. A couple of hundreds or so. A little millimeter. Hardly anything up at the moment, just a little touch. I'd say a couple of hundreds of a millimetre. Nice steady path across. And we'll take them out of the uh, vice, the bare room. Now I'll chop them off. To, to length in the band saw, then uh, probably through the end up with a end mill. Show you the uh, ball bearing if I can. <laughs> That's the best way to show you, I think. Uh, there, I've ground it down flat to around about half its thickness, and that's what I'm using. Okay, I'll bring you back on the next stage. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. It's another day now. Uh, back on with the project, the um, new jaws for my vice. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not quite sure I want to 
this is the the uh, back jaw of the vice now my old one had the regrew cut both ways I'm not quite sure if I want to, to put a V-way both ways I certainly want to put a vertical one in um, because I found uh, on my, my old jaws the V-way was fairly close to the top and a lot of a lot of times when you're fixing up things it became a nuisance especially with my parallels uh, so what I might do I'm going to play it by ear I'm flying by a seat of my pants here uh, I'm going to build up set this up now on the uh, pallet from the milling machine little uh, pallet I made a long time ago I'll set it up and we'll start and cut the vertical groove so what I'll do now I'll turn you over to the uh, milling machine now and we'll get set up on the little mini pallet Excuse me, moving the camera around a little bit. Bring you in and round. Down a little bit. Tighten you up there. Just bring you in a little bit more. Right. Now. On my fixture I made, it's just a round piece of aluminium, machined out. My little mini pallet I've made here is bolted to that, but I have left a ledge along here which squares everything up, makes it slightly easier for setting up. So, what we're going to do. I've already set this at 45 degrees with my uh, my little handy dandy cube here. If you haven't got one of these, I I strongly suggest you get one. They're absolutely brilliant. Little digital cube. It's it's really good. Makes it nice and easy for setting up. So, I know this is square because I know this end square. So, what we will do, we'll put the fixtures on. Like so. We'll put one there, I think. Yeah, we'll get one there. Yeah, about that. Screw that in. Just put a pinch on that one, and just for curiosity, I will get a square to make sure it's absolutely perfect. That's it. Yeah, we are square. We are square, check again. Yeah, that's perfectly square. Uh, get another clamp on somewhere lower down, I think. And we'll see what it's like. <laughs> uh, I can't get one there, I don't can get one there. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I can get that one. Right, 
and just nip those up. Just a little bit. Okay, we're solid there. That's good. So I've not yet started to mill up this morning. It's a bit cool. I'll just run it, I'll run it slowly to warm up the vines a little bit. And we'll get set up. I'll we'll probably use a power feed. down what the height we need Got my mark. So we'll get a little bit of a velocity going now on the mill. We're running about 1300 RPM. Just there over the DRO. I am actually quite uh, climbing on here at the moment. Conventional milling. Just a little bit of cut on now. Just putting 0.3 of a cut on now, just to try that. Mm. Engaging the power feed. Up. I think we'll take a bit more of a cut on the next one. <coughs> we'll go for about half mil cut I think this next time.
That's one point one two millimeters deep. there, let's go and have a quick look. That's not looking too bad actually. I think what I'll do, I'll go a little bit faster and I'll do a, a, a climb cut. It's taking a little bit more off. Point seven three millimeter deep. I'll try a flying cut. I will put the brake on the table a little bit. Create a little bit of drag. It is only a small milling machine. I think we will take it to, to 
2 millimeters deep. That's 2 millimeters. Very slowly. I always uh, never come to a complete stop on the mother machine. I always let it roll on as it slows down. Just I don't know what it is. Just in the cold weather with these bearings, I don't know it has any effect whatsoever. But I always seem to do that. Okay, raise the head of the machine up. We'll take a look at what we've got. Yeah, I think we've got it there. Bit of deburring. Slacking the clamps off. We'll call that good. Take that out to the fixture. That's okay, that's, that's quite good to say. Some quite nasty bears there, I'll take those off. And I'll, then I'll, we'll decide if we're going to put a, a groove in the other way. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I think we'll leave it at that. For now, I'll just debear it for maybe a second. And we'll put it in the vise and see what it looks like. I'm uh, just using a small V file just to take off those uh, rags. Yeah, I think that's... I'm going to leave tip that. I ain't going to mill her uh, longitudinal uh, regroove yet. I'm, I'll wait and see. If, yeah. Okay, I'll we'll take the fixture out of the vise and then we'll fit the jaw. It's my little fixture. Right, just a piece of round bar. An old piece of own cast aluminium bar I think by the looks of it little plate holes drilled just made some fingers like that 
That's all the chest. I'll clean the vice off. Bring the tail low right for this. Make sure we're clean. It's that way up, I think. Yeah, it appears to be that way up. Okay, let's tighten those down. Let's find a wrench. I'll come down a bit. Okay. What I have made recently, I didn't film it, I should have done I think. I've made these little uh, vice stops. Just let it go on there. You can put them anywhere on your vice. Just a little nip up. I've actually made a pair of them. And just put those on. Quick nip. wherever you'd need them like so that's perfect absolutely perfect not bad for a country boy <laughs> someone who just pisses about in the garage Take these two off now. And just literally clamp on with two, two, two sets of bolts, three millimeter bolts. So oh, yep, close up nice and tight. Nice and parallel, nice and flush. So, that looks like the end of another project. I've been wanting to make some new vice jaws for a long time. Um, slightly taller, these are slightly taller than the old ones. They're about a quarter of an inch taller than the original ones. So wanted. So I think that's it, guys, for this one. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave a comment if you got something to say. All comments are welcome. And please, please, please give me a thumbs up.
it all helps us little guys to get going on YouTube every subscription counts I greatly appreciate them so it's chopper 316 saying ta-ta for now and we'll catch you on the next one bye bye